Hi, welcome back. I'm Glenn Alba, Associate Broker for Villa Home and leader of the Alba team. Today, we're here with Joe Zambelli from Expert Home Inspections. And we're gonna to talk today about the process that buyer would, would go through when they're looking to purchase a home and hiring a home inspector. Joe, welcome. Hi, Glenn, how are Glad you? Glad to see you again. Uh, Joe, before we get going, I, I'd like our audience to know a little bit about you and and uh, we grew up and how you got interested and involved in the construction and the home inspection. Well, basically I was um, born and raised um, in Long Island, Deer Park um, in, in the 60s. My father did, did construction, small remodeling jobs. Started with him when I was a kid, learned how to do everything from him. And then uh, as I got older and I started my career, uh, about 25 years ago, I started doing construction, licensed uh, c contractor for Long Island. And uh, through the years, I developed, we worked for State Farm at one time, we worked for Lowe's at one time. Um, and then just after the construction, my next, um, my next phase was to start helping people buy homes. And using my knowledge of what I learned in the construction field, um, to do home inspections and help people go through a house and see if it was safe and see if it was a good fit for them. Mm. Now, do you have to be licensed in order to be a home inspector? Yes, you have to have a New York State license. Um, you have to be licensed and insured. Uh, basically, um, I went to school, actually, after I stopped doing construction. I went to, back to school to learn how to become a home inspector. I'm sure that a lot of people that decide to be a home inspector and uh, and go to get their license, uh, they don't have the experience that you've had as a contractor. So how does that kind of differentiate you uh, as being a home inspector as opposed to somebody that might have just gone to uh, school? Well, it, when you go to school, they teach you how to become a home inspector. They don't teach you anything about a home. Um, from doing construction for so many years, I've learned over the years different different um, um, utilities that are in a house, different forms of framing, different forms of building construction. Um, and a lot of home inspectors don't have that background. Mm. So they might not be able to see something that I might be able to pick out. Yeah. Now do you have, uh, are you licensed in any other forms that's related to home inspection? Yes, I have a New York State license, um, mold assessor license. Um, what that does is it enables me to do air quality testing and testing for mold. Okay. Now what areas, uh, Joe, what areas do you cover? Are you just local? No, I uh, actually cover the whole island all the way out to Montauk and I do the five boroughs and I'm also up in Yonkers and White Plains and New Rochelle. How long, now, how, how long have you been doing the home inspections themselves? Um, I want to say about eight years now. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you've done many of them. Yes, yeah, yeah I've done my fair share. Yeah. Now, um, after picking that home inspector, how long usually, let's talk a little bit about the process. Um, you hire a home inspector, how long does usually an inspection take place? A normal inspection on a basic house um, takes roughly about an hour and a half to two hours. And okay. do you do you encourage the the prospective buyer to take place? Always want the buyer there. They Always want, want the buyer there walking around with me. They don't have to stay with me the whole time, but it's nice to have them there because I can point different things out if I find anything that's, that needs attention or something that is serious. Um, it's just nice to speak with them. I give them a lot of recommendations on a house where they could improve something, the heating, the electric, the air conditioning, stuff like that. So it's not just actually, my reports aren't just, oh yeah, this is bad and this is good. I actually give a lot of information about a house where they could utilize it to save money down the road. Hmm. Now what would be some of the red flags or, or something that would be very costly for a buyer? Um, what are some of the things that you would really look for that you would pick out? Uh, electrical service, uh, to make sure that it's up to date, it's up to code. Uh, we don't actually quote code, but since, again, I've been in the construction industry, I know what to look for. Um, you want to make sure that the, the electrical service is um, a good amperage. Um, you want to make sure that it's grounded properly, because if it's not grounded properly, it could be a dangerous situation. Um, 
furnaces, boilers. You want to make sure that there's no corrosion on them. They're not leaking. Um, as for being a New York State licensed mold assessor, even though the um, actual home inspector does not look for mold, I look for mold. Mm. I look for signs of mold, signs of moisture. Um, I use moisture meters. I use thermal imaging cameras to look for different things going on in the house. Thermal, really? Yes. Cameras? Like, yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. Um, thermal imaging cameras give you um, a difference in temperature inside a wall, in, on a floor, um, which basically, uh, if read properly. So when I read it, I would be able to tell you if there is the possibility of water evaporating in that wall or in that floor. Moisture meters will give us moisture uh, in any type of surface. So I can see if there's something leaking, if there's a leak in the, in the wall, stuff like that. Now, the, what about the roof? I mean, is it Roof's a major part. Um, obviously, we look in, we're looking for leaking, but um, you could actually go in an attic and tell more about the roof than from the outside, in my opinion. Um, there's telltale signs inside, a, inside an attic that'll tell you if the roof is in good shape. Now, if they're buying, if a buyer is buying a home uh, from a seller, um, and it's not, you know, it's not a rehab house, uh, it's just they're looking to move into this property for themselves. Are there any majors? Like, say you found a roof that was leaking. Are these requirements um, in order for a mortgage for them to get a mortgage? Yes. Yes. the The house has to be free of leaks. Um, the electric has to be in good working order. The boiler or heating and hot water heater has to be in good working order. Um, and the plumbing and electric has to be in good working order. Okay. And I guess uh, another question I have, and I've come across this a couple of times, which has been as a realtor. Um, do you do many, uh, do, or do you recommend that a homeowner who's looking to sell the house does a pre-inspection and have that report available for uh, prospective buyers. It's great that you bring that up because I always offer that service to uh, anybody that would like to do one. It's a great idea because a lot of people don't realize what's going on in their own houses. So they put the house up for sale and then a home inspector comes in and they're like, hey, listen, this is leaking or that's gotta be fixed. And the seller doesn't know. Right. The seller goes into the sale blind and now Right away, it's like, oh my God, what's wrong with the house? I didn't know that all these problems were here. So I offer uh, pre-listing inspections, and a lot of agents take me up on it, uh, real estate agents, because they'll do it as going into the listing. They'll offer it to their client, which gives them a list of uh, items that should be addressed, okay, before they go to the sale of the house. So basically, it would be the same <clears throat> inspection that you would do for a buyer, only you're doing it for the seller, and this way the seller can be better prepared either to correct some yes. of the majors or um, you know, at least have it available uh, for, for a buyer to look at. Yes, exactly. Oh, yep. that, 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 it seems like that would be uh, a really smart thing for a seller to do. It is, but you'd be surprised how many people just don't do it. <laughs> All right, Joe, listen, I, I, wanna, I wanna thank you. Anyone looking to purchase a house, Okay, this is your biggest investment of your entire life. Uh, you're going to be paying for this house over many, many years. And probably the most important step that you can take as a buyer is hiring the correct home inspector. And Joe Zambelli has years and years of experience. I think you can be really comfortable with him uh, with expert home inspections. And please, look at his information. We'll have it posted at the end of this video. Glenn Alba here from Villa Home, and we thank you for watching again.